I'm Kyle Brookings, and we do have a weather system that's expected to move across the island tonight and drop about 5 to 10 centimeters of snow along the west coast. We'll get some rain uh, out toward uh, St. John's and the Avalon, and for those of us in central, we'll uh, see a snow transition over to rain. So that's what's expected tonight. Now let's take a look at what's expected for tomorrow. Heading out the door on Thursday morning, uh, we'll see those snow squalls continuing up and down the west coast, uh, St. Anthony, Port Saunders, Cornerbrook, Port Bass, uh, and along the south coast as well over toward Marystown. Snow squalls, um, we'll see windy conditions with those westerly winds coming on shore. It will be blowing around the snow, uh, reduced visibility for sure, uh, may even cause some uh, travel delays and that type of thing. Um, out toward St. John's, the drizzle will end this more, uh, Thursday morning and uh, daytime high of plus one. And uh, Grand Falls winds are a few flurries. Gander, probably the nicest spot in the province, uh, at least for the island portion of the province, looking at a mix of sun and cloud there. And what we'll do right now is we'll take a quick look at your local forecast for St. John's and Corner Brook. Five-day weather forecast for St. John's. Some rain ending uh, in the morning. Minus one. Friday, chance of flurries. Minus six. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, looking at a mix of sun and cloud. Uh, minus nine for your Saturday. Minus six for your Sunday. And warming up to minus one for your Monday overnight lows. Uh, basically average minus seven through minus 11. And we'll take a look right now at the five-day weather forecast for Corner Brook. Thursday, snow squalls. About 5 centimeters, windy and minus 8. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, chance of flurries. Temperatures anywhere from minus 7 on your Monday to a chilly minus 13 on your Saturday. And overnight lows, well, they're looking pretty chilly as well. Friday night, Saturday, the coldest at minus 19 degrees. And that is all the information I have for you. Uh, as always, you can visit the website, wxcenter.ca. There's a barrage of information on there to give you all the weather information that you need and uh, for whether you live in St. John's all the way up to Vancouver and several locations in between wxcenter.ca your weather authority head to the website take a look